calling it a love song, song. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on how do their friends see you and like what do they think about you? So let's get straight into the video. Okay, we have three piles here today. Pile one says cry baby. Excuse my shaky hand. <laughs> Pile two says just give me a reason. And then Paul 3 says, call me by your name. So these are the three piles. Pick whichever one you would like to. If you'd like a personal reading, my details are down below. I love you loads. Um, yeah, you know, take a second, marinate, meditate, think about your person, think about their friends. And um, yeah, I love you so much. Let's get straight into the video. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be on what do their friends think about you. I got a couple video requests and I was at first I was going to do the how do people see you because I feel like every time I take a hiatus I always do that video but then I was like you know what? You know what? No. Let's just, let's just do what y'all want. This is the videos you guys have been requesting because I want to do them too. I'm so sorry for the long hiatus guys. <sighs> Okay, shit's been tough, shit's been hectic, okay, but, uh, okay guys, but like, you guys have been in my heart, like, every single day, every single day, and I'm just glad to be back, so, yeah, like, I'm really sorry that I wasn't, like, you know, uploading videos, but I love you all so much, you guys always make my day, and I'm so grateful, and I'm so lucky, but, um, yeah, let's get straight into it, okay, also, yeah, I, I bleached my hair. Shit, shit's been going on, guys. You know, you know when they when you dye your hair, something's going on. Anyways, let's clear the energy and let's see what do their friends think about. You know what they say, what they be thinking in their noggin and stuff. Okay, so pal number one, you guys chose the cry baby card. Okay, please ignore my nails. Um. So, you know, immediately right off the bat, I was busy hearing that they view you as someone or they think of you as someone that can be really emotional. But then for some reason, when I was going to say like, oh, you're so emotional, you know, like obviously you pick the crybaby card, you could be definitely Cantor Scorpio Pisces. But there's this energy where people can see that you're really emotional or they can see that you're really emotional. But then there's this like a big wall that you have that you don't open up to people. I feel like because you picked the first pile, it's kind of like there's this energy where you're a leader. And I feel like you make a lot of decisions based on your head and based on logic. Like you're definitely giving a lot of spark energy. But I feel like... Um, if you don't know who Spock is, he's a Vulcan, a <laughs> Star Trek, but um, they value um, logic over emotions and that doesn't mean that they don't feel emotions, it just means that they don't act on them because I'm seeing that um, their friends view you as someone that's really emotional but you never ever act on your feelings. They could view you as someone that can it's like you're a contradiction they feel like you're so emotional but you don't ever act in your feelings they feel like you're someone that is really dominant but you act really submissive they feel like you're this but you act the exact opposite so it's kind of like you are not ex you're not what they expected at all i feel like they expected you to be someone that's really sensitive someone that's really emotional someone that's really relationship based someone that's really um you know libra energy i feel like when you meet a water sign you expect them to be really emotional you expect them to be this and that but then you meet those cancers that are like not like that at all like i remember i was talking to this one cancer and she you know i'm emotional i will cry guys and i was talking to this other cancer and they were just like so mean like i'd be like oh what's your favorite they'd be like what's your favorite genre of movie to watch and i'd be like you know i love horrors i love this like i love all movies and like you know i got a soft spot for romantic movies and they were like yeah you guys you like romance and feelings i don't like feelings and i was just like damn like i thought you were gonna be emotional like me but it's like no you know so you expect someone to be really emotional but then you're surprised when they aren't and i feel like that's what their friends um think about you 
so yeah let's just get out some cards spirit how do their friends view you their friends this is gender inclusive everybody non-binary men women gender fluid all the vibes okay spirit how do their friends what do their friends think about you or how do they view you okay we got the two of cups that came up right so they view you as someone that wants to be in a relationship they feel like um you want to be in a relationship with this person they can tell that you have feelings for this person and that you know it is an unrequited love okay spirit how do their friends see you and what do they think about you okay we got the queen of pentacles that came upright so i feel like they view you as someone that's very popular someone that's very outgoing someone that's very attractive and someone that you know goes around and people just always like them it's like this energy of like regina george but someone like you know regina george with um i'm trying to think who's the most selfless person that i know or like that's well known let's just say Boo, 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 boo. who's a really nice person why can i not think of any nice people let's say you're fun you know from adventure time i'll insert a photo i feel like they view you as someone with the regina george exterior and then like a fun at heart you know like i don't know if that makes sense i, re I really hope that makes sense they view you as regina george and fun like if they had a baby you, that's how they would view you that's how they would see you let me know how you interpret that, okay? Spirit, how do their friends see you and what do they think about you? Okay, we got the nine of clubs that came up, right? They feel like you're someone that desires a lot, okay? I'm busy hearing that sometimes your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Just in the fact that... I feel like you're someone that's really cute, you know, you're all the vibes. But I am sensing that maybe sometimes they feel like you check out other people. They feel like as much as you like this person, you be looking at other people. I feel like you're someone that really does enjoy, you know, aesthetically attractive people. I don't see you acting on it, but I can see that um, they feel like you have a lot of crushes. They feel like you're, they're someone that knows that, you know, if you see someone attractive, you're probably going to say something or you have a very flirtatious um demeanor because i know that i knew this one gemini and they are someone that's just very flirtatious that's just their exterior that's just who they are as a person they're just really flirtatious and yeah but like they're flirtatious yeah and then they got a girlfriend and their girlfriend was not comfortable with like how they're so comfortable within themselves and their feminine energy and their masculine and um how they're so comfortable like I don't know just like being flirty and they didn't like that about them you know and i feel like sometimes maybe their friends kind of get that same thing they're like why do you um look at other people and think they're attractive you should just be attracted to this person or like why do you i don't know dress up for other people maybe sometimes you post revealing photos and they're kind of like, like why do you do this why do you do that or like they just they're not used to it you know um i want to pull out some tarot cards as well let's see what the tarot card the tarot deck has to say so thank you so much spirit for being here spirit what do their friends think about pile one and also how do they view them thank you spirit what does how do their friends view pile one? Ooh, we have the hermit card okay so you definitely give off you know virgo energy they view you as someone that likes to stay inside. I feel like you're really introverted. You know, I see that you are outgoing. I feel like they think you're outgoing, but you probably are more introverted. Like I said, it's like everything they think, it's kind of like that's the opposite. They think you're this, but you're actually that. So maybe they don't really know you that well. They just know what they've seen online. They haven't even met you or they just know what other people have said about you because there's probably a lot of rumors going around about you as well. Um... Ooh, wait. I wrote down a quote that I would like you to hear for the hermit. I'm pretty sure I've already said it. If you have watched my videos, you've already heard this quote. Um, but basically it says, If they thought her aimless, if they thought her mad, let them. It meant they left her alone. I don't know why, but I like that quote. I feel like... A lot of people or their friends kind of get this energy where they're like, oh, you're aimless, you're this, you're that. But it's kind of like you're just being yourself, you know. So, yeah, if they thought her mad, if they thought of this and that, 
what they left her alone okay i feel like you're always in your own energy spirit how did they view power one and what are their thoughts their um their friends thoughts okay we have the chariot card so definitely we got water sign energy we got cancer scorpio pisces okay they feel like you're someone that really values family as well these cards are so beautiful honestly i love it um you know what let me let me let me check over here mm, magician the fool the empress guys my rings are falling off okay high priestess the empress the hierophant the chariot okay they feel like you're someone that can definitely you have a lot of willpower 100 percent um they feel like you're someone that moves really quickly and they feel like you're always headed in different directions. They feel like sometimes your heart wants something, but your mind wants something else. So you're always really fighting between your heart and your mind, you know. It's this Vulcan energy, okay? If you don't know what a Vulcan is, just watch Star Trek and find out. But yeah, a Vulcan is just someone, like I said, they value logic over emotions. Um, yeah, you have a very positive omen. You have really great energy. They feel like you're someone that's released your ego. And you're kind of someone that tries to be really confident. Um, let's see what else I wrote down. Um, the chariot. Okay, so it says, it was hard as fuck and I screamed in my pillow. But fuck, I'm not going to give up, okay? And that's how they view you. That's what they think about you. Shit. Sure. Um, let's take out, let's check. Can I get a color? Okay, let me pick a color let's see mm, let's go for let's go for this color chrysolite okay i feel like this is their energy that they view you as like chrysolite chrysolite i'm sorry guys i don't know how to pronounce that but chrysolite okay you're someone that's warm joyful and dynamic you can be a bit bitter sometimes and sometimes unforgiving you're someone that stresses out a lot but you really enjoy being happy for other people sometimes you can be a bit hard-headed and you're really hard on yourself and sometimes you're hard on other people as well because you have really high expectations and you're someone that really enjoys tasks and um kind of like just getting things done um and yeah it also says fruitfulness and then let's just pick a number. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got 18,000. Sure, you have a nice pussy. You have a big dick. That's what I got. So that's what I got for part one. I really hope the video resonated. I love you loads. And let's get into the next one. Okay, part number two, you guys chose Just Give Me A Reason. I'll link down the song, you know. Just give me a reason, just a little bit to know. Just a second when I broke in this man and we can learn to love again. Okay, so I feel like, um, how do they, okay, how do their friends view you and how do they see you, all the vibes? I feel like, um, their friends kind of view you as like if Selena Gomez songs were a thing. I mean, if Selena Gomez songs were a person i don't know why but i'm getting that and like i'm getting billy eilish vibes also so you know it's definitely giving capricorn um spirit how do they view part number two spirit please um give me an accurate reading thank you for being here okay so i feel like their friends give <laughs> their friends view you as someone that is definitely really funny 100 percent um, I feel like you're someone that's really giving, um, your love language could definitely be quality time and also gift giving because I'm seeing this sort of like bougie energy where they feel like, um, you're someone that likes getting your nails done, they feel like you're someone that likes brand stuff, you're, they feel like you're someone that likes getting your nails did, you just kind of seem really fancy, okay? I'm hearing you might even have like an amazing accent or you might be from overseas. You could definitely be an exchange student. They think you're really cool. Like I'm hearing, um, let's say for example, like, okay, I live in South Africa. Let's say someone from America came over, like, you know, we're going to be intrigued. We're going to be like, okay, who are you? Like your accent? Like what's things like, you know, in a first world country? Like we're going to, we're going to ask some questions. And I feel like that's kind of like how their friends view you and how they see you. It's kind of like, it's not even like a spectacle, but they just want to know more about you. They're kind of like, what, who are you? You know, maybe their friend is really introverted or their friend isn't someone that would really introduce their partner to people or introduce their crush to people, but they introduced you. 
they mentioned you so they're kind of like okay but who are you though like you must be special you must be different like what makes you different from the other people like okay so i feel like they like you i feel like they like you like they're just like what like is this really you like damn i feel like they're like they were pleasantly surprised by you and I feel like even a couple of their friends might have a crush on you because I'm just seeing them being like damn like you're so cool like you're actually like hella chilled vibes um so yeah spirit can I please get an accurate reading for pile two how do their friends view them and um how do their friends view pile two and what do they think Okay, we have the King of Pentacles that came up, right? So they feel like you have a lot of masculine energy, okay? You know, whatever gender you are, but I feel like you could be someone that's, yeah, just very masculine, you know? I feel like, um, I want to say like you have short hair, but like even if you don't, you could be someone that's really, you know, tall, someone that's really strong, really buff. Um, someone that even could be like, maybe you're growing out your hair, like if you're a guy, maybe you have like really long hair, if you're a girl, you have really short hair, you know, non-binary. I feel like, yeah, you could be really androgynous even. Um, I'm seeing something about like a little mustache. Um, I'm seeing you kind of like having like, I don't know what it is, but like when you're forward, it's a bit protruded and your eyebrows are a bit more like forward. There's that energy as well. Let me just see quickly. So we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, they view you as someone that is really into business. Like I'm definitely getting like Capricorn energy. Someone that has financial stability. Someone that has a lot of money. I'm an entrepreneur. They feel like you're someone that is respected by a lot of people. And you kind of demand a lot of respect. It's like if you don't like someone they know it and i feel like their friends even wonder like do you like them they're like i don't know if you like me like you seem really cool you seem really great and like maybe a little bit stuck up a little bit but they're kind of like you you're cool you're cool but like do you like me though like you do things really differently compared to other people like i don't want to say like you're different you're not like the other girls none of that okay but um it's kind of like yeah this is energy we they feel like you leave people really easily or you judge someone really easily where they feel like they can tell when you like someone and when you don't like someone because your energy is more like exclusive where maybe you're just nice to your person your crush but you're not nice to anybody else you know and they get that energy they feel like you like this person you like their friend but you don't like anybody else you don't like their friends you don't like this you don't like that you know you're kind of like a picky eater you're really picky with your energy and who you spend time with and um you kind of aren't like you know here for like games they feel like you're kind of like listen this is marriage you know this is this is the future if you're with me it's, it's a forever thing like this is not like a low-key thing it's kind of like either we're getting married and having kids or i'm out the door they feel like you're kind of like analyzing your friend and you're kind of like trying to see if they're good enough for you yeah they feel like you're like trying to see like you know are they good enough for me do i like them like you know a lot of times when you go out you're kind of like oh like what if they don't like me what if this what if that but then i read somewhere they said you should flip the narrative you should say what if i don't like them and i feel like that's what they get you know that's what they think about you they're kind of like you don't worry if people like you you don't worry if their friend likes you you worry if you like them you worry if they're good enough for you shit okay so yeah you're testing people's loyalty you're testing their loyalty you're testing their friends loyalty you know i feel like you could be someone that's trying to dig up some dirt you know maybe you're really close with their friends or like when you talk to their friends you're kind of like so what do you do for a living Good, tell me about your trauma how's your family you're just really like you know business vibes and they're kind of like shit man like shit shit man um yeah they feel like you're someone that's simply really reliable you're someone that has a really strong personality um you know i feel like you've been through a lot and they can tell that you've been through a lot because you are not here for the games i'm just seeing like you demand respect you demand respect okay um you have very high values and great judgment you're quick-minded okay um and mm, so your partner also could be younger than you because i'm sensing that you're older so you seem really mature you seem really wise okay and you also you know how to react in really um intense situations i feel like yeah and you're always trying to include your partner and you just seem really loyal 
Okay, and then we got the Five of Swords, the Five of Spades that came upright. So this mostly talks about breaking up. So I just feel like they are getting the energy that you are this King of Pentacles. You're this masculine energy. You're this presence, you know, this strong presence. And you're kind of like, are you about to break up with this person? They're kind of like, I don't know if you're good enough for this person. Like I'm hearing their friends are saying like, give me a reason why you're with this person because I don't know why you're with them, you know? Like, I don't know what your taste is. I don't know who your crush is and I love you and I'm here for you, you're amazing. I'm not trying to diss anyone, but I am getting the vibe kind of like them saying like, what are you doing with this person? Like, you have a lot going for you. Why are you with this person? You know, like what makes them so special? I'm so sorry. But yeah, I just feel like they're wondering, are you going to break up with them? Because they feel like you're in the energy where you're looking at this person and you're trying to see if they're good enough for you. They feel like you're trying to analyze, like, would this work long term, you know? You're like a Capricorn in a relationship, you know? And I feel like something that I really... Okay, you could definitely be a Capricorn moon or a Capricorn sun, but mostly a Capricorn moon and a Capricorn Venus. Because I know my one friend, they are an Aquarius... Aquarius Sun, um, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Venus. Let me know if that's also your sign. But anyways, I always thought they were like, I don't want to say peculiar because I love them. But I'm trying to think of the right word. But they're really intelligent. They're really smart. And when they chose their partner, I always was like, you know, girl, you deserve better, blah, blah, blah. You know, you got to hype up your best friend. But like, um, I remember like now at least, like, the partner they chose is like someone they molded like maybe you're like that like I don't know how to describe my friend but like I feel like you're really similar to them because it's like you will meet someone see potential in them you know make sure that they get their shit together while because you, you already have your shit together so you make sure that they get their shit together and then you guys build an empire together and then you guys make money and profit and live in a mansion and that's my friend and I'm like yes queen you know what you know what yes so i feel like that's how they view you kind of like yeah you're trying to find a long-term partner okay you're trying to get someone that's the same vibration as you so yeah you're really individualistic sometimes you don't like being really vulnerable you don't trust people that aren't close to you you're not opening up to people that you don't know um yeah that was so interesting. Oh my god. Spirit, can I please get an accurate reading for Pile 2? Um, how do they friends view you and how do they see you? How do they see Pile 2? How do they view Pile 2? Oh, shit. Oh my god, this is too many cards. But you know what? I love you, Pile 2. I will read these cards. So, we have the Five of Swords intensified, okay? So, like I said, break up. They feel like you're going to break up with their friend. They feel like either you don't like their friend or you're trying to see if you like them. They feel like you're about to break up with their friend. Okay, um, we have the Fool card. They feel like you're someone that is busy, basically just trying out new things. They feel like you're someone that's adventurous. You know, you're doing the things. We got the World card. They feel like you're looking at your options. You're trying to find out if this is... Um, a valuable partner like you give me like you know someone maybe you're obsessed with astrology and you're like okay um i'm, I'm a virgo sun and i'm a capricorn moon i need to have someone that is compatible with me so maybe a scorpio sun and then something that's compatible with my capricorn moon would be a taurus moon and then like i can see you doing that like you're trying to see okay so you see i like this person but they're a gemini and i'm not compatible with gemini so i can't be with them like they feel like you're that type of person you know like virgo virgo sun virgo moon energy because virgos are really self-critical and yeah they have high standards um and then we've got the four of cups you're trying to be find someone that you're comfortable with mm -hmm. they just see you as being someone that's on a mission you are on a mission oh wait this is the ten of swords sorry yeah they feel like you're about to break up with this person they feel like you're about to break up with them that's what i'm getting paul too let me know if that was accurate or not i would love to know um let's get you a color and a number Let's see, let's do, let's do apricot, okay? Let's see what apricot has to say. Apricot, okay? Mm, you like trivia, trivia questions, you're really interesting, okay? 
You're sweet and pleasant, very loving. Okay, you're gentle. Mm, you like to mark your territory. You're self-compatible. Mm, mm. um, you're on a healing journey. Mm, it says apricot has to do with the symbolic. It is symbolic of a person who acts too soon. It is therefore a caution to wait before acting. You're really resilient. Be careful. Even though the person seems to be soft and vulnerable on the outside, seemingly sensitive to change and approach with care, they have inner strength and will be able to withstand many difficulties. So that is what I got for part two. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. And let's get into the next one. All right. Let's see. Okay. Pile number three. Pile three. You guys chose Call Me By Your Name. So like I'm busy, I'm busy getting Call Me What You Want. Call Me What You Need. Call Me what, Yeah, you know, by um, Lil Nas X. So let's see, okay, so pile three, I'm busy getting LGBTQ, I'm busy hearing, you know, I'm wearing the LGBTQ, be who you are, period, per. Um, let's see, Spirit, how do they friends view and see pile number three? Please, Spirit, help me. Thank you for being here. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So pile three, I feel like their friends view you as someone that okay 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 i'm busy hearing like you are trying you have a big crush okay they feel like you have a big crush on their friend and they can really tell and i feel like okay part three i'm gonna be honest okay i love you so much don't forget that love you loads if you'd like a personal reading my details are down below but i feel like for the majority of part three this is energy where they feel like you're the one that's really fixated on their friend you're the one that really is into your friend and they don't know if their friend feels the same way about you okay so this isn't about how your crush how your person how your partner sees you um this is about how their friends see you and i feel like they get this energy where you're overly invested they feel like you're overly involved they feel like you're overly in love and they feel like you're giving way more than you're getting back in return and they're kind of like you are doing i don't want to say you're doing too much but like I just feel like they're saying kind of like you seem like you're really in love and they don't know if their friend feels the same way and they're kind of like when they hang out with you they're kind of like I don't know it's just kind of like hard because they're kind of like they know that their friend doesn't feel the same way so they're kind of just like feeling a bit awkward sometimes and they don't know what to talk about with you I feel like you have a lot of different interests compared to what you want. I mean, com your interests are different to their friends' interests. So sometimes it's hard to think of conversation starters. It's kind of hard to say, like, what should we talk about? What shouldn't we talk about? Are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? Are we not going to talk about the elephant in the room? It's kind of like, it's a bit uneasy sometimes. It's a bit tense sometimes, you know? Um, so Spirit, thank you so much for being here. Spirit, how does Pile Three's friends view Ooh. How does I mean how do their friends view Pile Three? I'm busy hearing Wheel of Fortune, it's changing. How do their friends view Pile Three? Okay. I think that depending on how your crush or your person, whoever you're busy thinking about, um, however they view you is kind of similar to how their friends view you. I feel like, yeah. We got the Queen of Swords that came up, right? Okay, so yeah, I'm hearing them say like, don't get your hopes up too much because maybe the person that you like is kind of like a bit of an a-hole or I feel like they could be a player, you know, maybe like with the Queen of Swords, this is someone that really enjoys sex. They're sex, pod sex positive per go off. But um, it's more like they don't really want a relationship and I don't know if they want a relationship with you either. So I feel like um, they're kind of just like, you should like kind of like you should give up on this person i don't feel like they, they're kind of saying like i don't know if you should even like try and like this person like you know they have a really specific type or like they're already in a relationship and it's not gonna work out you know or um yeah i feel like this is like a third party they're saying that they're gonna choose someone else so you know don't even try with this person like they're not worth your time they're saying like they want to warn you they want to be like listen get out while you can you know um it reminds me of hope okay let me know is it is it okay if i like relate things to myself just if i can i don't know i feel like it's easier to like keep up with what i'm saying because like i understand where you're coming from okay 
but anyways i remember i was talking to this one gemini and i met their grandpa i mean their grandma and their grandma was like girl run they were like run like run while you can before you get invested just like run this person is not good for you they're gonna choose someone else and i was like and then literally i did i ran and thank the universe that i did okay i dodged the bullet i feel like you're also gonna dodge a bullet if you leave this person if you don't if you don't yeah okay but let's see let's see let's see so spirit what do their friends think about you what do their friends think about pile three okay we've got the six of wands that came upright okay so let's see okay they feel like you're better off friends and they feel like they would be friends with you if you didn't like their friend you know they're saying like me and y'all could like like me and you if i'm the friend that's saying you know me and you could have been chilled but you like my friend so now it's awkward and like i don't know if we're gonna be able to do friends after this like it's gonna be so awkward um but yeah i feel like they're just kind of saying like you shouldn't go after their friend yeah i feel like they just want to tell you that like you shouldn't even waste your time with this person um let's see spirit can i please get an accurate reading for pile number three how do their friends view pile three how do their friends view pile three mm. how do their friends view pile three okay we have the devil call this talks about addictions yeah pile three um i don't think you should pursue this person i don't think you should i don't think they're good for you i feel like this person has a lot of their own issues going on right now you know with the devil card that just talks about you know addictions it talks about someone that's not good for you um and i hope i'm being okay i hope i'm still being nice because i remember i got a, v a comment one time and they were like you're so mean i'm just trying to find out how they feel about me damn and i was like i'm sorry guys i'm sorry okay i'm sorry if i'm being mean I'm, I'm, okay anyways um the devil card so basically this is the quote it says and the great dragon was cast out forced to see what he had done i banished the shadow i never hated you we just weren't good for each other the cards are saying it i'm saying it the spirit guide is saying it listen to intuition with this person i've got the five of swords this person is not good for you don't pursue them don't 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 do this don't do this person mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. i don't think they're good for you the hermit card stay in your energy protect yourself run 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 okay we've got the eight of swords that came up right i'm hearing that song run can this run run can this run um so we've got the eight of swords restriction okay drama you need to wait for someone else this person yeah i don't think they're good for you happiness comes within that type of thing you feel trapped and powerless and you're trying to be patient patient to get out of a tricky situation help is available um yeah i wouldn't i don't think you should pursue this person so i'll make another video on like what is next what's your next partner like who should you be looking out for i don't know comment down below but um yeah that's what i've got for part three i really hope the video resonated i love you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye